B-Bad and Brandon. Goodbye. I'll just leave all the heavy lifting up to you now. <laughs> I don't know what heavy lifting is now. You're still looking pretty <laughs> strong there, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, yeah, no. Just, uh, no, just uh, doing the normal work during the week in the council and just security in the weekend. <laughs> yep. Didn't I see you bench like 180 for 10 recently? Oh, mate. That, that's all I can do at the moment. <laughs> I can't squat or deadlift, but yeah. <laughs> I, just, mate, I wouldn't mind yeah. uh, I, I, mean, I mean, if you just. That's all I'm doing, mate. Uh, that, that's all I can do. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> But um, before we get into it, I would like to welcome you to the Platform Podcast. It's an absolute honor to have a very special guest. Um, for those who would have listened by now, they would know that voice being Odell Manuel. Welcome. No, no, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you as well. There is a live audience, of course. Yeah, massive. Very big. Oh, is there? Oh, <laughs> yeah, one, man, one person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the, the camera wouldn't fit them all in, bro. So we, we, just, we, have to, <laughs> we can't turn it around. So you just have to <laughs> nah, imagine it's all good, a thousand man. people. Now, mate, to kick us off, we have a little uh, we have a little thing on our show where we give you 21 words mm -hmm. to describe who you are, what you do, and that's it. And then the podcast is done, which is the best part. No, <laughs> just kidding. I was going to say it, no. <laughs> <laughs> but 21 words, who you are, what you do, a um, bit of a summary to, to introduce yourself. All sounds are counted as words too. Yeah. So if you giggle, laugh, fart, we count it. Mate, I don't know if I can do that. Eh? <laughs> Twenty-one words exactly. Yeah. Look, to let you to give you an insight, one of your good friends, Luke Poley, was terrible at it. So. Oh, I'll be even worse. Oh, I don't know. And he's uh, he's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Twenty-one words and go. Man, uh, uh, I'm, I'm from I'm New Zealand, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's resided in Australia uh, due to uh, oh, well, uh, financial reasons. And uh, just, uh, that's 20 already, yeah? <laughs> that's about 21. That 20? Oh, sorry, mate. Never mind, bro. Yeah, no, I'm out. Yeah, right. Um, That'll do. I'm sure sorry, there's bro. a lot more to you, so though, bro, from the, what I'll, I know. I'll take the trophy for the, the worst one, uh, 21 words. Uh, <laughs> A trophy. Yeah. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> you, can, you can put it in, against all your other trophies that you have. <laughs> oh no, no, no! That my, my daughter's got those now. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> she's claimed them. Yeah, even oh. though they're pretty sharp, but she stay away from them. But uh, yeah, she's claimed those. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's pretty good. Which is which one's your favorite trophy, bro? Oh, the, the Pro one? Oh, the, well, the big dog one. The one was good, but the Pro it was always the the, uh, the, the real uh, close to my heart ones. You know, they were yeah. always really good. Marcos and Emed. They did all. They did all. They did awesome. Those guys. You know, I wouldn't be uh, who who I am if it wasn't for them. They gave me the opportunity. You know, it's all good. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, you. It's what I find interesting is that you started a lot lighter in a very different sport of of being the National Rugby League. Tell us about that. What what have you always played league, or because obviously from New Zealand and rugby union and the All Blacks being the the most profound sport over there. Um, How did you find league? Well, league is what I, what I started off with. Of course, yep. you know everybody plays rugby back home, but my old man got me to the dark side and played league. And <laughs> uh, you know, I was really well, I started at seven. So even though yeah. there, there's a lot of people playing rugby back in New Zealand, you know, there, there's a big following in the league too. Obviously, yep. not as good as Australians, and it yeah. shows why well, you got World Cups. And all yeah. that. But anyway, yeah, I uh, started when I was seven and just went through the grades, just like everybody else. Wasn't you... a natural rugby league player. Uh, I know I made top footy later, but just yeah, I yeah I wasn't yeah it didn't come second nature to me. Um, yeah. Just like a lot of other boys back home, but yeah, I've always been recently like well, anything to do with like uh, you know, like, uh, well as we as we find out later with powerlifting, I was always pretty you know good in the anything to do with strength and all that, but uh, endurance no, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was no good. Now I was. Looking at a few stats beforehand, you actually played on the wing. Yeah, yeah, I actually wow. did. Uh, that, that was when I was probably a hundred kg lighter. <laughs> but, um, but, uh, yeah, I used to play. Uh, I wouldn't say I was super fast, but I was a lot faster than I was now. But, um, yeah. <laughs> How uh, fast could I, you I, run the hundred back then? Oh no, no, no! I was, it wasn't a, a, a ten second man. I think I, uh, I think I was an eleven second at my best. But that was when I was only about. Oh, I think I was about ninety five. Yep. Nothing like Jonah. Uh, Jonah yep. was about 120 and he was the 10 9. So, wow. not, not as uh, freakish as him. But, um, yep. Yeah. 
So but, going, uh, going through the grades, like was it a, was it a tough process? Like obviously, New Zealand's got a really good selection of rugby league, <laughs> rugby union players. Did you find it? Because obviously you started your career with the New Zealand Warriors, and I think it was in 1999. Was it a tough to secure that spot? Yeah, I think in the lower grades, I think even you know a lot, lot of, actually watching the, the junior grades now over here. I guess my my, my son plays here. Uh, a lot of the boys back home are actually a lot bigger than you know, like start off a lot bigger. Obviously, later on they they they, they become champions. Well, I'm not saying they are champions when they begin, but you know, like a lot of the the island boys back home are quite big at a young age. Yeah, it was quite yep. intimidating going through. Yeah, you know, I know a lot of people up here in Rockhampton think I'm big, but I'm only small due, due to the compared to the boys back home. You know, I was always one of the smaller ones. But Jesus, <laughs> it was always really intimidating. And a lot of the there was a lot of a lot of the, the, the island boys like Tongan and Samoan, they get naturalised and now they 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 come over from the islands and then they yeah and that's their and then you know we get a lot of those big fellas came through the grades. It was always compulsory of uh, like religion. You know, you had to bring your passport because. A lot of the guys look like six years, six or seven years older than they look. Oh, than they look. Really? <laughs> oh, so you had, before yeah, you played yeah. the game, you had to rock up and prove some ID. You know, no, no, sir, I am 16. <laughs> yeah. Well, wow. I think there was a guy down in Melbourne, not some Kiwi guy, uh, little, little, little fellow. He was, uh, he looked like he was 18, but he was in under, under 10s. Yep. And then, then that's when they, down in Melbourne, I think they've, they've changed it to weight groups instead of age. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because he was just too big. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's a lot of the boys back home were like that. And, yeah, it was quite intimidating going through the grades, but uh, you know, I persevered. I had good parents, yep. and uh, yeah, we just uh, you know we just I just made sure I turned up at training and made sure I you know played hard. You know, every Saturday mornings or whatever games. Uh, normally, it was Saturday morning, so you know yep. I, I tried my best. <laughs> we we playing a bit of rep footy as a young fellow as well, like um like state stuff or national team stuff. I got coming here, through. Yeah, you you played for the junior Kiwis, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I yeah, like I said, I, I you know I really didn't think I. Well, my dad said I played good footy from the start, but I, I didn't think I played good footy until I got to about 16. But yeah, I made my first rep side when I was 11. Yep. Uh, the, you know, like like uh, you know like uh, and then I made my first New Zealand rep side when I was 16. So. And that's when things things started to, to you know to happen. You know, we started getting the development side for the Warriors, and uh, yeah, I just stayed stayed in the system from yeah. there on. And then ultimately, uh, yeah, we made the, the top side. But yeah, that that was only just to. <laughs> do you uh, do you remember your debut for in the NRL? Yeah, it was the first game against Roosters uh, ninety nine. So Roosters, I uh, where I actually uh, I made the top. 25 that's the top score and uh i actually to be honest i, I think i you know I was, I was quite lucky i was really lucky to make that side but um i didn't think i'll get a game that year and then yep. just in the pre-season we played oh actually it was down in brisbane we played in uh toowoomba uh, we played against the broncos yep and yep. uh i got caught up the night before so uh because one of the, the top players were uh, injured and yeah and i actually played a good game <laughs> so uh Sweet. Yeah, we played two two preseason games, and then we and then I that earned me a spot in the starting squad for the opening game, so it was really good. Did you start uh, off the bench, or were you on the wing? No, 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 no. Started, yes, I started uh, first out of the thirty uh, nice. starting side, but so I was lucky. I was best and enough there. How uh, how did it feel getting presented that that jersey? Obviously, New Zealand heritage being so important to you. I think you know, like my uh, yes, yeah, to me that was really important because the Warriors were a big thing. Even though I know we haven't won the the premiership yet, but it was kind of a big thing, you know, in New Zealand, you know, four million people, um, and then one squad there. But yeah, it was, it was quite big. My dad always uh, he, he thought uh, that making the New Zealand Māori side was more more honourable, which it was. But uh, that was more special to me. I'd say the Warriors. I'd say yeah, right. Yeah, there's a lot of fellas going for it, and yeah, I was I was lucky enough to uh, yeah get get the call up. And how did you play in that first game of yours? Do you remember? Yeah, well, I didn't drop the ball. <laughs> yeah, no, I played. Most I, important I played, thing. I didn't miss a game that year, and it was it was you know, that's good. You know, I didn't, you know, I wasn't wasn't no superstar or anything, but yep. you know, I was lucky enough to play with the you know the the, the best in the world. You know, yep. and then that's what I can tell my grandchildren later on in life, maybe yep. soon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, daughter, but, but um, but yeah, I was yeah, it was, it was, it was good while it lasted. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong. You actually got the call up to play uh, in for New Zealand in the World Cup in 2000. No, I played. I I, we, I missed out on the, the the New Zealand squad, but I made the New Zealand Maoris. That's yeah. like the second side, and uh, yeah. we made that. And 
uh, yeah, that was an experience. I um, we went over there, but we didn't we didn't win in uh, we didn't win the World Cup, obviously. But uh, it was a good experience to go over there to play against the top side in the world. Yeah, uh, um, yeah we went to England. It was cold, but no, no difference to um, to New Zealand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but um, it looked well. They looked the same as New Zealand too, but it was snowing at the time we went over there. So we are living in Auckland. It doesn't snow only yep. south, but. So it's colder than where I'm from, but uh, you know, cold's cold, you know. Yeah. Colder than Rockhampton anyway. Were you playing in <laughs> the snow from. as well when you were there, or was it? No, 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 no. We we, we were training in a bit, but uh, oh, not fuck. not the games. But it doesn't matter, you know. Even though you don't see the snow, it doesn't mean it's not cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the coldest was uh, when we played Scotland. When we played in Scotland, yeah. Uh, you know, national anthems being played, and yeah, we're standing there. We're just it was just freezing. <laughs> just in shorts and shirt and a rugby jersey. Oh, just oh, it's just it's a different different cold up there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, <laughs> mate, that's um, unreal. I'm sure you've got a bunch of stories from those tours. And I like, do you keep in contact with a lot of those blokes now? Or well, no, you know that no. Obviously, now that there's Facebook and all the other Instagram yeah. stuff, we know. Yeah, I keep in, keep in touch with them. I haven't been back to New Zealand. I don't go back to New Zealand too much, but when I do, I catch up with them then. But there's always Facebook and, you know, they're, you know, obviously doing this now and yep. they catch up with them there. But they're all going well. They all got families just like me and, yeah, yep. they've moved on with their lives. And yep. I think we all, we, you know, we all sometimes, even at this age now, I'm 40, 43 now, sometimes you wake up in the morning and you still remember that you have to wake up to go to training, you know, even when no. I was powerlifting. Yeah. You know, you still, it'll, it'll stay with you for the rest of your life, you know. Yeah, um, absolutely. I think in a lot of ways when I, when I finished, when I had to finish 40, you know, like, Powerlifting was the one, because uh, you know, look, it, it was really hard to, from the doctor to tell you, you can't actually run no more. So it was actually, you know, heartbreaking, really. So I, I'm glad powerlifting came not too far long after that, even though I wasn't running, but it was still competing, you know, you just always yeah. have that competing spirit, you know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think just uh, really just uh, trying to like uh, keep my daughter in line my daughter's in line and I think that's the one that we have to compete against because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you finished your you know career in football and you answered my question of obviously um, why you had to stop but you finished your career with the Raiders obviously hearing yeah. the heartbreaking news you couldn't run anymore no I um the Raiders no 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 I, oh. I think I told I told Marcos and all that uh, no, I, I haven't told too many people but uh, I think I, I did it on the, the podcast with the Raiders, but uh, no, no, I left the Raiders. I left the Raiders. Bad yeah. attitude. Nothing yeah. to do with nothing to do with the team. It was just me. I had a bad attitude. Uh, I did blame them when when I left, but that yep. was you know it was yeah it was me. I just I left. I just I don't know what it was. I think it was just now just a bit, a bit of homesickness and soft and all that. Now, but I left and turned my back on the sport for a little while and regretted it later. You know, I, I think I went, went missing for about two or three years, something like that. And I try to make it. And that's why I came back to Australia. Um, Cowboys gave me a, you know, uh, a lifeline there. And they said, if I play the, you know, the local, local league here, which is the Queensland Cup, uh, we'll give you, give you a look in. So I played up here in Rockhampton. Oh, yeah. Uh, for right. the, yeah. And that's why I come here. That's the reason why I come here. And I only played six games. And that's when I got diagnosed with uh, um, uh, osteoarthritis in my knee. So oh. that, that, that ended my days of running, which, which I probably didn't like running, but. Yep. <laughs> oh, I miss it now. I miss it now. <laughs> yeah, it takes a it takes a like a obviously in hindsight a, a strong man to look back and go, you know, as you said before, like at first you blame the Raiders, but now you can see that it was, it was your own doing. And oh, it was my own doing. You know, that's what happens. You know, when you when you put hundred percent into it. Like, don't get me wrong. When I when I did powerlifting, and that's what I always said. You know, if I get another chance, if God give me another chance, I'll make sure I give it hundred percent. That's why I took powerlifting very seriously mm. because. How you know I just walked away from league and you know just trying to find a fit you know in the way like to redeem myself and yeah. yeah that's what happened when, you know I probably didn't eat correctly probably didn't eat correctly and and, and powerlifting too but <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah just uh just didn't I wasn't a professional you know and we had everything yeah you know like um in front of us you know if you you want to go see a nutritionist you know and free of charge you know. I always said to my boy, you know, boy, he's only eight now, you know, I said, you know, if you, if you get that chance, make sure you give it 100%. You know, because there's always there, you know, everybody willing to help you and then mm -hmm. that uh, professional uh, realm. Yeah. Were you always lifting a bit of weights when you were playing playing league? Would you would you say, say you were quite strong back then as well before you switched over to powerlifting? Yeah, but not, not with the knowledge of powerlifting technique. Yeah. 
technique, you know, like I was always you know, reasonable strong, but no, obviously bad technique with bench and, yep. you know, lifting your, lifting your butt up and all that. But no, yeah, yep. I, was, I was always reasonable there. Always there, always yep. good at wrestling, all that stuff. Yep. We always did, we always did a lot of wrestling in the league and I always oh, really? pin people early, but I know, I know this, <laughs> I know this. If, if you do any, anything over one minute, I'm gone, but <laughs> I always used to pin people pretty early, pretty good. And I mean, that's why powerlifting come in, I was really good, you know, it's, yep. It's just a one off thing, fast. Uh, and I think that's why we, yeah, I think that's why we, we didn't go to we with quite well in uh, powerlifting. But mm. yeah, I was always uh, recently, you know, all right in the weights, but um, yep. uh, yeah, just I was, and, I was actually glad uh, the Australians taught me how to do the proper, proper squat technique and bench and deadlift. <laughs> and how do you find powerlifting after finishing up league? No, oh, it was by mistake, mate. No, I, I, because I always, um, well, not by mistake. Uh, not by mistake. I was just uh, after I finished the uh, league, I just kept on going to, to you know, going, going to the gym, of course, as you would, you know, like yeah. uh, you always got to keep on training no matter what. As I'm still training now, but not as heavy. But I was still training then, and a lot of the and, and the local powerlifters there said, "Oh, you should do a bit of power," because they saw what I was lifting, and they said you should do a, do a powerlifting comp. And I said, "Oh, you reckon?" And then I. I just trained for about a couple of months for it, and I just did, uh, did my first novice comp, and uh, yeah, I ended up beating beating them. <laughs> <laughs> I did, the guys do you, be do you remember there. your numbers um, from the first but, novice comp? And all that, all that, well, remember that was IPF. That was yep. IPF, and IPF was uh, equipped. And uh, yep. like my oh, my straps were only oh, well, I could pull on myself, but yep. it still helped me. But I think back then, the the, the, the even with even with equipped, uh, uh, you know. Just uh, about five years ago, four hundred. It was it was like three hundred was like the four hundred now. Yep. And, you know, yep. everybody was trying to break that three hundred, and uh, yep. yeah, I did three hundred something, like three fifty, I think. But yeah. Yep. In your first comp, but that was a, with the suit. No, no, I think the first, I, I think that was the second comp, the the, the one where I, I cut, got number one in Australia in IPF, uh, three fifty. Yeah. What did but, you um, score in your first comp? Oh, I hated comp? the. I think it's three thirty. Fuck yeah, like that, but. How did you, you find know, using the equipment, bro? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the, the, the squat suits are all right. Deadlift suits are all right. But the, the bench suits, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, I was there. I mean, I, I understand what Wilkes wanted to do. And he was right. You know, the bit, you know, like, it was funny, you know, when people were coming out in their arms, you know, in front of them, you know, you know, they're looking for the, the, yep. squat, the bench suit. It just looks funny. You know, when you come out, you want to be like, you know, stretching out. That's what people want to see. But when they see yep. you with your arms in front, it just looks bad for the sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was there, like, the, the, the squat suits and the deadlift suits were right because you couldn't really tell. Yeah, but the, the bench suits, yeah, I never did like those. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, but they were really. Do you remember your total from that second comp where you got number one in Australia? I think it was nine hundred. Yeah, nine hundred. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, nine hundred. <laughs> I think <laughs> something like that. You know, yeah. But and it was when, really good. Though, you know, like. And when did you discover, I guess, raw lifting? No, oh, when when I when when my knee. Uh, I actually left. I actually got banned from from IPF, and I can't well, come come back later. But I, you know, I got banned for the pre workout. I got yes. three months. Yeah, I justified everything. You know, but normally you get. Oh, I think you get three years or some two years. But Easy. I got I got three months because I got justified. Yeah. Got it, you know, I was in the pre workout. I don't know what, but and then um, and then what happened? I think I think my knee played up again. I couldn't I oh. couldn't I, I, could, I couldn't walk again for about I don't know what happened. But and that was the early stages, and yeah, it just played up and. I went missing for a little while, and that's when Marcos gave me a ring. He told me to, you know, come on. I said, "Oh, you know, are you allowed? To, allowed to still knee wraps, you know, because I, I, you know, because of my knee." And then, yeah, uh, the rest is history. I just went and did my first one with him, and then I stayed with him. Yep, <laughs> he was good. Was that the first? You know, Marcos was. Was that the first pro rule? No, no, I think it was second, second. Yeah. I think. I'm too sure, but um, I know. I think Wayne and them did the, the one before that. Wayne Howlett and all that, but yeah, yeah, it was really good, you know. Um, it was really good. Uh, uh, yeah, family, family affair with the, and everybody. The, all the competitors were good. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just something I'll never forget. I miss the miss everybody. Yeah. Mm. And did you enjoy? You know, we see. You know, coming from a sporting back, high level sporting background, did you? Is powerlifting was super enjoyable. To be able to keep that competitive aspect up and keep training, and keep going to the gym. That was important for you. Always enjoyed that leading into the comp. I yep. always enjoyed the mind games and all that because it reminded me of footy. Yep. Obviously, everybody's nervous, but I actually thrived off that. Now, don't get me wrong, away from powerlifting, you know, I, I stressed out and I panicked and all that, but in powerlifting, it was different, you know, leading in. I actually could handle the pressure. 
Yep, mm. I actually thrived on it. Maybe it's my God gift, you know, maybe that's what God gave to me. But you know, I loved it leading in, yep. especially the, the big dogs, the first big dogs I did. Oh, yeah. 2018 with Luke. That was the best. You know, I loved it. Just, yep. just loved that rivalry. Even, you know, a bit of, you know, like a, a little bit of banter. Yep. <laughs> it was good. Yep. But, um, that, uh, was, uh, that was the one where, unfortunately, you tore your hamstring on the second day. Yeah. Yeah, I only tore my hamstring because I ripped my hand and my uh, my uh, my calluses and see, oh. yeah, well, I, I try to pull it and then, you know and then it rips your skin and then yep. you just can't pull it and, and then you still you know and then that's how I pulled my hammy too at the same time. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, but yeah, no, it was um, that was a good comp and obviously 2009 in the following year, but yeah. I always uh, enjoyed the the the, the, the well, library that- coming. So in, I remember that 2018 uh, Big Dogs, well, obviously one reason being Luke went the ton, but also you're just torn your hamstring and in second position. I think he came out, I don't know if you actually, I, I don't think he took a third because you had a chance to take take out top spot uh, from Pet, Peter Petrez, but Brandon Allen decided to go put up his third attempt deadlift to try and not just... I thought it was really respectful. He didn't want to beat you because mm. you know you couldn't pull. He actually went for an all-out deadlift to try and beat Pe- uh, Peter Petrez. Nearly got it too. I know. Yeah, I, I really, I, I really enjoyed Brandon. You know, like he, he can beat again. A lot. Of, uh, I know totally different um, characters, but you know, like me and him actually got the same mindset. You know, I just go, you know, all for nothing, you know, all nothing, you know. But yep. I really enjoyed competing with him, even though I was competing against him. But yeah, yep. he's a really good man. He's a good man. Him and his wife, and uh, obviously big. Peter, you know, he, he was a good competitor too. That's probably my best comp I've ever did, even though I lost. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it went to Peter. He's, he's a good man and, yeah, and that was well-deserved. And now he's the top, top, you know, the top dog now in the world. And, yeah, all-time uh, world record well, holder. Well-deserved. And, and it was always coming. Man, if you see him in person, oh, well, well, you've seen him. He's massive. He's a and, big boy. Uh, he's a big boy. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, no, he'd be, you know, top dog for a while, I think. <laughs> now... That loss in 2018, did that spur you on for 2019 where you took out big dogs? Yeah, well, I think I think uh, I should have, you know, when I look back at that, you know, because I, I, actually, I actually tore my colours from the 390 and I knew straight away that was it. Once you tear it a bit, you can't do nothing about it. It'll just keep on going. And I knew straight away that was it. <sighs> yeah, so I should have just opened on 400. You know, if yep. I would have opened on 400, I would have, uh, you know, it would have been... Uh, well, I would have got the win, but no, no, we uh, unfortunately, uh, I knew straight away after that 390. I think you would have saw me when I started chewing yeah. on it straight after I knew straight away. That was it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, like I said, I was, I was, I was, I was happy, happy for Peter. He's, he's yeah. a good man, and you know, if I had to lose against somebody, I was glad it was him. <laughs> now, big dogs for like you gave us all a bit of a heart attack with the oh. The- I think uh, my mum, 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 I think my mum nearly had a heart attack too. The old man was pretty good. You know, he's seen it before. He hasn't been to the comp, but he, he's seen me training. He yeah. knows what, you know, what, 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 you know, what's involved. But I think my mum was a little bit worried because when I fell over. But yeah, I think probably, uh, well, I, and I heard, I heard the boys from uh, WA, you know, you know they, rec- they, um, they reckon that it was almost like a, I, I uh, competed like amateur. And, and it looked, look, I just, it just wasn't a good day. But I, but I was actually glad that. On a bad day, we still, you know, we still won and still got over eleven hundred. So I was, I'm, I'm that's glad. On a bad, bad, that's that's a pretty good bad day. One of my favorite <laughs> yeah, memories is just, that third attempt squat, where I think you had to get it, and uh, it was four seventy. You got it, and you just fucking smacking that bar. Well, actually, I um, I I, I, I don't we I I asked my. Uh, Lachlan, which is uh, my trainer, he, I told him, oh, I only wanted 460 because, oh, well, you know, what happened? I said, oh, ultimately, we wanted, you know, I wanted to go for 480. You know, like, if he had a perfect day, uh, 480, but it wasn't going to happen that day. You know, yep. after that 440, it was just wasn't going to happen. And then we did 440 to, to, to skewer the, you know, the, the opener, you know, on the second. Yep. And then I just said, we'll just do 460. <laughs> and then he put on 470, and it was too late to change it. Ah. I, said, oh, <laughs> and then I said, oh, okay. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, so I had to, had to dig deep, but yeah, no, like I said, it was just a, it wasn't a, 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 like one of my best comps, but yeah, we still won, and uh, yeah, I think leading into the comp, the comp wasn't uh, uh, leading into the comp. We probably, I probably trained like, like I shouldn't have. Like for me, like because because of my knee, I, I, uh, I go well with just uh, you know minimum amount of work. 
Yeah, I know a lot of people. You got to deal with the volume and all that, but I, I, I have to minimize that with my knee because it starts puffing up. It has you know, the bone and bone wood, and leading into that comp, we did a lot of volume. It's, it's, yeah, and it just, it just went into the, it just, yeah, it just bring bring up a lot of injuries, and and that's why I probably didn't go to the uh, the pro rule uh, early in that year too. Yeah, because yep. I got injured. Yeah, but uh, uh, a lesson learned. But uh, you know, I'm glad we still got with a one with the win, but. Uh, if I would have came in the, the way I prepped going into uh, the 2018 Pro Bowl, well, I think it would have been a different story. You know, we would have been a lot, lot more covered and yep. my knee would have been a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Is there a reason you changed your tactics into that uh, 2019? Well, I thought more... Well, I uh, trained... Because uh, I went to go and train at another gym at Victor Health, which is under Glenn, Glenn Hansen, and he had, he had the, uh, the monolith there. Yeah, and I thought you know I'll go there, and he's got a bit of a bit of experience, or you know, actually got a lot of experience. I thought I'll just try his way, just to higher volume. But uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, that actually worked against him. No, 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 nothing on him. But that was my yeah. call. But I just yeah. thought we'll just try it this time. But no, it didn't. Yeah, ended up being uh, unsuccessful. But like I said, you still got eleven ten, so we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll take that away. <laughs> we'll take but that I was, away. I was hoping to get 11, yeah, I was hoping to get more than that. But um, yeah, I think if I would have been well, more, more, more recovered and everything, but. Uh, it would have been a different story, I think. How many more kilos do you reckon could have been left in it if you'd uh, gone a different way? I was going for eleven sixty. Yeah, so the, no doubt. for the all time. That's an ultimate, but I, I still, I still, I still, I still believe that I could have minimum got the the eleven forty, two and a half, or I think it was. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, that's what. But I know I had that, but yeah, obviously on the day we didn't. But yeah, no, well, all good, all good. Uh, like I said, as long as we got a win, but Uh-oh. I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up to you guys now. You just uh, <laughs> we've you lost just... your video, bro. Are you oh, still there? Sorry, mate. Got it. Oh, there hey, we go. yeah. yes. we're back. Um, did you know that was going to be your last powerlifting comp? Yeah, for sure. Leading in, leading in, yeah. I, I knew straight away my knees had enough. You know, like yeah. I don't get me wrong. Lee, um, over the years, even though I had bad knees, I didn't really take too many too many painkillers. Yeah. But leading into that one, I did, and and, and they're not real bad. I mean, I take it every day, but yeah. I only used to be. Uh, Maybe once a week. That was, yeah. that was, that was you know, just you know, when I feel a bit, a bit sore. But yeah, leading that that one, I was doing like at least three times a week, which is still not bad. You know, I plan on the, you know, the what the doctor said I was allowed, but I just didn't like it. Man, yeah. You know, like there's a, you know, there's a reason why it's hurting. You know, yeah. You know, and uh, if you're trying to, you know, disguise, you know, uh, trying to disguise what what's really there, you know, there's gonna have problems. Yeah. But um, I already, I already knew my knees had enough. But I, I tell you, I tell you this, uh, guys, you know, like. Like if I had good knees, I would have still been going now because yeah. I still muscle wise, all right, but it's just the joints. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just can't, can't. Oh, I can still deal them. I just can't squat no more only because it's just bone and bone. But yeah. I can feel the you know the muscles and you know are still good, but just uh, oh, yeah. the knees. Give me your knees, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, you don't want mine either, mate. <laughs> did, oh, okay. it make, oh. <laughs> did it make that training run a bit emotional for you, knowing that it was going to be the last last crack at it? Yeah, it did because I think I uh, did a, my last video uh, or leading in not too, oh, before that, and and I, and I only just realised that was the, my last training video I was going to put up. Where you know, I speak and then actually yeah. I don't think anybody saw it, but uh, yeah, I got a little bit emotional there because it's been a, been a long journey. Yep, and I was you know, I was really grateful that uh, I come across some awesome people, you know, like like yep. yourself and you know Marcos and Emad and all, all, everybody here, at Rockhampton, good sponsors and awesome yep. sponsors. Yeah, uh, and uh, now that I do security, now it's uh, uh, a lot of them. I don't hardly even get in trouble because a lot of them I, I know a lot, a lot of these guys, and these guys know who I am through powerlifting, not through league. Yep, and um, <laughs> it actually makes my job a lot easier. But so, like, you know, it hasn't gone in vain all, all the work that's been done. You know, a lot yep. of the young fellows look up to these, you know, at the, yep. the night clubs, you know, they uh, they seem to uh, not play up. <laughs> they yeah. they, no, no, because a lot of them do weights too, and I know who I am. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, it actually I mean, makes my job a lot easier. I'm not going to lie, if I saw you on a security door, I'd probably walk the I'd other be way. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. There's actually a lot of other bigger guys, but uh, just, man, I just worry. Do you realize uh, how big you are? No, no, no. There's a lot of other big boys. <laughs> a lot of the island boys down in, uh, down in Sydney, uh, Sydney and all that. But no, I was actually, no, I'm actually glad you know, the boys, uh, they respect, uh, you know, they, they, they show the respect around me. and I, I say the same too. I've always been like that, you know. Like, oh, I did get a few red bags here and there, but you know, it's always uh, it's only it's, it's only very minimal. 
<laughs> do you find these the, the young fellas do they they looking to you looking to you for advice or um, ideas on training and stuff like that as well, mate? Or always at the gym, always. Yep. But and and, and and but now I just tell them if you need help because a lot of them are not listening, and, yep. and that was like me. But I see them. I tell them some stuff, and I see them going. They're trying to max out every week. So what I tell them is, you come. Only you. If you come to me, then I'll help you. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just doing it. Oh, tell them some stuff, and and then they just go and do that. They just want to max out every week. I mean, I was like that, but yeah, you see, certainly learn after. But a lot of the 15 year olds and all that are now uh, uh, asking for advice and all that. And yep, at the gym, and only when I'm there, I help them. I said, you know, because I can't really train them because I'm always busy in the weekends with uh, yep. work and all that. But when yep. I'm there, I said, I'll help you. But that's yep. only when I'm there. Yeah, you know, cool. but. A lot of the young fellows are doing powerlifting now and here in, in Lockhampton, you know. Yep. It's uh, really awesome to see. Yeah, it's a chance to kind of get back a little bit as well, bro, which is kind of cool. Yeah, well, if I, if I, yeah, I, I'm, I've only been just doing the security to, uh, only because my mate begged me. And it's yep. only a favour. I didn't want to do it off, as you know, what's involved. But, um, <laughs> you know, I'm just doing it as a, a favour to the, the brother. He needed my help, so I'm doing it. But one... Once I finish that, I'll probably finish in about six months' time, and then I'll just get back to doing the gym. That's helping out the young fellas there. Yep. Because you've got really no time. And I've got my son coming through too with the footy too, so I've got to be there for him. And yep. my other young daughter, she's uh, playing netball, so I've got to try and Oof. get in there. So. <laughs> got an but, um, athletic family. Oh, yeah. Oh, very, yeah. They're very, they demand everything of their dad when it comes to the wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always got to buy them some. I have to pay for them to come with me because I was come for the shopping center and all that always yep. like having them with me but i have to pay for them to come <laughs> so it might be uh coach odell next some point yeah. in time maybe bro hey oh what do you reckon yeah oh, i forget the moment you know uh, i was trying to try and do something like that before but yep. i think my wife just wanted me to be at home at the moment you know because yep. i was i've got a minute powerlifting took a lot oh up here you know always oh, i admit i put 100 percent into it you know if i wasn't training i was always doing something to you know, get a, get a faster recovery, where it be in the, you know, the ice bath or whatever, you know, yep. massage, chiropractor. Yep. But yeah, I was always away, I was always doing something, you know. But yeah, mm. yeah, that'd be the one thing I think you would probably enjoy now because obviously that time with powerlifting or NRL would take you away from family time. It must be nice to have all that time back to spend at home with them. Yeah, well, I'll admit that I was probably doing the same amount of hours as I was when I was professional footy. Yep. You know, and obviously you're not plucking them the money, but you know, that, that it wasn't about that to me, you know, like uh, you know, that redemption, you know, make sure yep. what done might have the sport. Um, yep. you know, I was going to make sure I uh, give 100%. So, yep. it's uh, like I said before, it's, it's been an awesome journey. Yep, no, really? that's good, bro. Is there what's on the plans after you know, you said you want to finish up security and be there for the family? Is there any, any inkling to come back to the sport in some capacity? Oh, I might help a couple of the, the if, if the wife lets me, I might help a couple of young fellas up here, uh, assist them in, the, in their, their, their competitions. I think some of them want to go to Mackay soon, but yeah. there's one up in Mackay. Not too sure when it is, but I probably probably missed that one. But maybe later yeah. on when I finish the security, I'll probably help them, uh, here and there. But then I've got my boy too. He's got his footy too, so i got to take care of them. Otherwise, the wife will give me a bash. <laughs> give me the bash. But... Do you enjoy going along and watching him play footy as well? Must be cool seeing yeah. him doing that. Yeah, well, he plays union. Oh, I'm no. Good. I want him to get in, in, into league, but it's mm. my wife. She's a union fanatic, you know, so um, <laughs> hopefully you'll see the light later and play yep. league. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> a little bit of natural talent in there. It's been passed down from you to him, is it? Oh, well, he's, I think he's a lot fitter than me, even when, yeah. I, yeah, when I was running, but yeah. I think it's like his mum because my, uh, my wife's but you know, she's a natural runner herself. So, yep. yeah, hopefully she's, he, he's got her endurance. Yeah. <laughs> what I've always admired about yourself and you mentioned her a couple of times is like the, the support and the backing you have of your, of your wife. Like, and you've given her the credit. Like how important has it been for you to have her this whole journey? Oh, I wouldn't be able to do it without her. You know, she's um, she's the one that uh, you know. I know everybody sees me at, at the comps and all that, but they don't see you. They don't see me when you know when I'm injured and all that, and I'm crying. You know, um, um, you know, feeling sorry for myself when I get injured and all that. And she's the yeah. one that has to pick up the pieces there. <clears throat> so uh, she's the one that sees the real me. You know? Yeah. Like, you know, and then there was a lot of times when I got injured. And there's a lot of times where the doctor said you wouldn't be able to come back. But I said stuff to you. Oh, sorry about the language, but yeah. but um, yeah, no. Nah. 
I was always in that area. I was quite cocky, but we, uh, even though uh, I got, the, I think Brandon Allen's got the same injury that I had in the, in the quad, and he's just coming back. I told him uh, it took me about two years, but I think it, it took me about a year to, to recover from it. But just mentally, yeah, I just couldn't get back, you know. But um, it took about two years to get back, and I think you ha- you, you helped me with that too, Brandon. Though going into the pro rule, I remember that yes. No, uh, pro rule X. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number yeah. ten. That's right. And that was that was one where you, you helped me, and I was uh, truly thank- truly grateful, my brother. Uh, yeah. Going into that, that was probably the one uh, you know that, that that I held quite special too. Um, that one, I think nobody really expected me to, you know, even place. But uh, we ended up coming first. So yeah, <laughs> I, I, knew I, I knew I could, I knew I would, but I didn't tell anybody. I, yeah. I had something, but I, I thought I'll keep it quiet. I, I knew, I knew Valad was coming. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew if I grinded him out, I knew I'll, I'll get him. But it made it a little bit tricky when with my bench. I knew. I, I, it, because I didn't get what I wanted to bench. I thought, oh, it's going to be a little bit harder with the deadlifts. But I knew, I knew if I got what I, I wanted to get, even though I was a 500 like the lad, <laughs> yeah. I knew that I could well, get them in the end. I remember you walking off, um, uh, I think it was 440, your second attempt, and you looked at me, <laughs> and I, um, she, I was coaching at the time, and I said 460. And you just nodded. I think it was 460, because that was the... No, four, no, no, we got, I, I got was it, 460, 440, the last one. Yeah, yeah, right. 30, 30. Now we went 400. I think we got 400, 430 or something. Yeah. Yeah. It was an all-time, and then, all-time squat record. Yeah, yeah, Australian, yeah. All-time squat record. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I remember. Yeah. That. We, um, we, um, I think the, the, the second deadlift, I think I got, got the record back again because uh, Alex had it. Alex, yeah. uh, big Alex. And, uh, um, and then I think my wife ran on, hugged me and all that. So, Yep. The last one, the 405, was just a bonus. You know, I just thought, oh, we'll just, we'll just finish it off. But we had already, <laughs> already, already come to, and we got, the, got our goal. And, yep. But, uh, you know, I always, uh, you know, always, 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 I was always, um, I was always lucky. I always said that when you had comp, you know, like, it's always a different story at comp. I know these followers are getting bigger, bigger totals, but it's always different when you're head to head. Yeah. And that's yeah, how yeah. I always just take it. I know, I know, Pitt. Peter beat me at the, but I um I still you know like I always made sure I don't I don't think they they thought I was going to do as good as a, a leading into the comp because I, I I never used to max out and all that my max out was at the at the comp but always um always uh, thrived on that that head head battle because it's always a different story. <laughs> yeah, and you said you enjoyed and a bit of banter up. and a bit of play in the sort of the back area. Would, would you be in the back room sort of? Keeping a bit oh, of shit, no, no, shit on no, each other and stuff. No, later, no, 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 they were doing it to me. Oh, were they? <laughs> oh, bring, yeah, no, it was all good, but I was just laughing. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I don't think my banter was just, it was just joking around, you know, just, yep. just having a bit of a, a joke. But yep. I mean, they, 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 their banter was just, a, you know, so take take me off track. But yep. no, I was always encouraging to them, but I enjoyed it. You know, like yep. Brandon was like that. And, Oh, Peter, he, he wasn't doing any because he was, he can't speak English probably. <laughs> you know, like, but, um, you knew he meant business when you seen him, but um, yeah, no, he's. Uh, I mean, his wife, his wife's a nice lady too. Yep. She was, um, I think she's a bodybuilder. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Petrus is the size bloody truck. He's okay. Yeah. Well. Ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be top on top for a while, but um, yep. we'll just see. Do you reckon anyone? No, no. You, reckon, um, you got your eye on anyone who can come back and take that off him? No, oh, what's that? Oh, gee, Dan Bell. I should, I should. Yeah. I think Daddy's yeah. going good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's running Daddy. pretty red hot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, we'll see how he goes. But yep. next year, you, you never know with Dan. You know, like you know, he's, uh, he's he was the man before that too. But yeah, uh, we'll see. You know, like uh, all the best to. Yep. Uh, I uh, always have a place in my heart for Peter. You know, because yep. I I know I'm you know I've met him personally, but uh, Dan Bell's a good guy too. You know, and and if he gets it, good on him. You know. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Awesome, brother. Well, mate, um, we've got 10 questions for you. Are you ready? They're rapid yeah, fire. Enough. You you first thing that pops in your head. Um, no pressure. Might be the 10 biggest questions you've ever been asked. What makes you unique, sir? Jesus Christ, follow up. Excellent. <laughs> Who is the special people in your life? Uh, my wife, my, my kids. Lovely. What is something you're most proud of? Oh, just uh, just who I am as a Kiwi, you know, but uh, representing Australia. Yeah. Now, if you could star in any movie, what would the movie be and who would you be? Oh, some 
Any movie? Long Any the movie. Rock. It would be The Rock. <laughs> Long as I'm The Rock. <laughs> you look like a fucking rock. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't look like the rock that did, but yeah, I just wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> What's your most used emoji? Oh, always the, the laughing one. Yes. <laughs> what was your favorite dinosaur as a kid? Oh, the big uh, T Rex. Yes. If you could find out how and when you would die, would you? Oh, was it, was it, man? If you could find out how and when you would die, would you? No. No. Excellent. What age do you feel right now? What, 100 in the knee? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was your favourite pet growing up? Oh, Jim and Shepard. Nice. And what is the best thing that happened to you last week? Oh, I um, didn't feel that fat. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I fasted for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I find that works. Yep. Funnily enough, it does, doesn't oh, it? <laughs> Bro, we can't thank you enough for giving up your afternoon today and, you know, chatting to us and sharing your story. It's fucking... You've, you've, def time, but... you've, you've definitely got a story and it's one I know we, uh, a lot of people want to get some value out of. Absolutely. Thanks very much, bro. Thanks, guys. Now, if, if anyone wants to reach out uh, and chat to you more, where can they find you, man? Oh, uh, anyway, on the Facebook or the Instagram, yeah. Yep. yep. But, um, yeah, just message me. And then, uh, yeah, all good. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, uh, then, you know, then Rockhampton, just look, look me up. Yep. I'll be uh, Come up more for than happy session. to have coffee. Oh, no, 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 not exactly. Because <laughs> I, I, I use the fake plates, mate. It's one of <laughs> fake plates. <laughs> mate, we'll put up all those links in the show notes. Uh, can't thank you enough. We look forward to getting you back on at some point. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Bro. Thanks, brother. Have a great time. Oh, <laughs>